What are the decay products? Yeah, of it turns into a proton, an electron, and an antineutrino. You get three things out. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here's something cool. I, I want to show off the little bit of particle physics I know. Okay? <laughs> you hear what he said. Right. Your neutron becomes a proton, an electron, and an antineutrino. Antineutrino. Okay. Now watch. The kind of particle the neutron is, you can end up with something that isn't that kind of particle when you're done. Okay. okay. These conservation laws. It's okay for the neutron to become a proton, but wait a minute, the proton has a plus one charge. Right, so now you got to cancel, cancel, cancel that out. Someone's got to get kicked out of that cancel that out. cancel that out. We cancel that with a what? Um, wait, the proton has a, oh, the, uh, the ant, oh, wait, wait, the proton, so it's a proton. Plus one. Plus one. Who's got a minus one? That's electron. Electron, boom. boom. He said electron. And he said electron. Out. So those cancel, we're good. Right. However, we now have an electron. That's a kind of particle that we didn't start with. We got to undo the fact that we now have an electron. Oh, because you got to need the conservation. You got to conservate it. And so now, so how do you get rid of the fact that you now have an electron? You and the electron is paired up with these neutro neutrinos. And what do you say? You not only get the electron, you get the anti neutrino. Anti neutrino canceling out the electron. Now that's a great way to balance this out. But my question is: Do these things? Are these things actually here? Or are you just saying, okay, we need this to cancel it out? Well, take us there.